it's embarrassing how they treat immigrants in the detention facility. Wanting to come here and make a new life for themselves is not a crime. Michael first came to America from Honduras to find work and support his family. Michael's a very, very hard worker. He did a lot of construction, um, roofing, painting. When Hurricane Katrina hit, he went down to Louisiana and helped in the relief efforts there. When I first met Michael, it was kind of like a palpable chemistry. I kind of think of it as we knew each other in another lifetime. We found each other in this one. He's my soulmate. That's cute. <laughs> I couldn't have asked for a better man to come into my daughter's life. You can see he was happy. Yeah. When he was on the border of Mexico and Texas, he was detained. They turned Michael over to immigration. That's where terrible things started to happen. Within about a month, I would say he was in at least four detention facilities. It's like they have no identity and nobody can get a hold of him. He had severe headaches and he asked over and over to see a doctor. He would be put in solitary confinement because he asked for medical help. Finally, he did see the doctor, and the doctor told Michael that he had a parasite. They said that it would eat away his brain. They didn't give him anything for it, and he would go into solitary and just cry. It got worse and worse and worse, and I knew if we didn't get him out, he wouldn't last. He was getting pretty desperate. And that's when I just conned him into signing his rights away. About a month later, he was deported back to Honduras. Hello? Hi. I miss you. I miss you, too. <laughs> I miss you a lot. I love you, honey. I love you, too. I wish you'd be with you. If the person's only offense is entering the country, they shouldn't be punished in a criminal way. Without Congress forcing ICE to make changes, nothing's going to change. 